Welcome back, 3DSSPP users. I'm Kelly with the University of Michigan Center for Ergonomics, and I am continuing to share with you some information and insights about the 3DSSPP software developed here at the University of Michigan. This time I am going to be showing you how you can enter workplace photos into the 3DSSPP in order to more accurately represent the job task in question. To begin, we're going to right-click our hominoid view and select Insert Background Image. From here, you're going to see the Insert Background Image dialog appear. On the top left of this dialog, we'll keep Use Image selected, and then navigate down to the Browse button, which when clicked will let us search for where the image we need is located in our file directory. Once I've found the image I need, I'll select it and it will appear in the Insert Background Image Preview display in the center of the menu. Before hitting OK, I'm going to select Center under the Image Position property. Fit window will stretch the image, and while you might want that for some cases, I find that centering the image at its regular dimensions is usually a better method. Before you hit OK and insert the image, it is important to tell the 3D SSPP where to position the image. I'll do this by looking at the bottom Add Background Image To section of the menu and checking Hominoid View. Now I can hit Apply and then OK, and I'll see the image placed in the center of the Hominoid View. Next, we will use our right and left mouse buttons in order to rotate and position our hominoid avatar next to the image. This way, we can have a good starting point to adjust the avatar's posture to match the image of the job task. For this job task, we can see that the forward torso flexion or bending in the photo looks very similar to the stoop lift in the preset postures menu that we covered in an earlier video. Since that's a good place for us to start, I'll navigate to the task input dropdown, locate preset postures, and select Stoop Lift from the available options. That's already looking pretty close, but we can get a more exact match by going into the Body Segment Angles menu and more closely matching each angle. We'll start with the lower legs, and I will enter a negative 90 degree angle in the vertical column for those. Recall the vertical angles set the up, down, or rise and fall of the segments, while the horizontal angles set up how much the segments rotate around the body within the global horizontal plane. The upper legs are slightly bent. I will give them a negative 65 degree vertical angle to show that slight bend from the horizontal at the hip. If we look over at the trunk angle section of this menu, I am going to change the angle set up by the stoop lift preset posture and enter negative 10 here as the trunk flexion angle. Next, we'll move our upper arms and for this stoop lift, we'll assume that they're going to be pointing straight down and we'll enter a vertical angle of negative 90 degrees for both upper arms. Forearms have a slight bend, and so we will enter a negative 60 vertical angle in the forearm section. Now you can see that we are already at a fairly close match of the photo we've selected to use, but our avatar looks quite smaller than our photo, and so just to have a better comparison, I am going to exit out of the body segment angles menu and use my mouse scroll wheel in the hominoid window to increase the size of my avatar. Now they're about the same size and I can more easily compare them. Now I can see that the negative 10 trunk measurement doesn't quite look like it matches up with the photo. I'm going to increment up the angle with my mouse scroll wheel until I can see an angle measurement that more closely matches my photo. It looks like a trunk flexion angle of 4 degrees is getting very close to the amount of trunk bending that we're seeing in this photo. Looking at this now, it seems that we've gotten our avatar's posture very close to what is appearing in the photo that we've selected, and I was able to do that quite quickly by using some of the fundamentals of posture that we've learned so far in this series. Using a photo to help guide your body angle measurements is a simple but powerful way to quickly set up job tasks in the 3D SSPP. I encourage you to try to set up one with a photo of your own, or even a sample image that you find on the internet that meets the side view criteria in order to get some practice using this technique. That's all for this video in setting avatar posture by using a workplace photo as a guide. Check out further videos in this 3D SSPP tutorial series to learn more about how the software can help you analyze physical demands in the workplace. Thanks for watching.